Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, and I host the Valder Beebe Show on FM radio and internet television. I am famously known for that celebrity interview, which I conduct by cell phone, in studio, or satellite media tours. Go to ValderBeebeShow.com, YouTube.com slash ValderBeebeShow, or our partnership network with Business in the Black, which is BlackSuccessAcademy.com, and click on the Valder BB Show's channel. I'll see you there. No. <laughs> you guys are in unison, Katie and Katie. Welcome. We only talk in unison. Hello. <laughs> well, hello. You're welcome to the Valder BB Show for the first time. I'm live from Dallas, Texas, and my audience knows a lot about you guys. Oh, that's great. Great. We love Dallas. We've performed <laughs> right. in Dallas before. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, Dallas loves you. If I could start with, uh, let's do Katie O'Brien first. Katie, teachers. Uh, tell me about your role in teachers. Sure. Uh, my role in teachers is I play uh, Miss Mary Louise Bennigan. Uh, she's a milk toast, and uh, she's very naive, looks for the good in everything almost to a fault. Uh, she sort of has a master-slave relationship with Miss Snap and uh, has a budding relationship with a hot dad. I know. I saw you nailed down when the hot dad took his shirt off. I saw that one. <laughs> who, who wouldn't? Oh. Who wouldn't? Okay, the other Katie, tell me about your role. I play Miss Chelsea Snap, and she is a very vain, narcissistic teacher who is probably the type of person who, like, would wait in line the minute the Kylie Jenner lip kit comes out. She is that type of teacher. Um, and she loves her students, but she can get really sidetracked by her quest for fame. Okay, you guys are playing teachers. Uh, my kids are uh, past college now, so... Is school really like this of what I saw on teachers? I, I, I'm, I'm serious. Is it just comedy or is it art imitating life? We do think it's relatable because a lot of the feedback we get is from teachers saying, oh my gosh, this happens, but this is how I wish I could have reacted. Like they love it when it's like, I wanted to say that in the parent teacher conference, I just couldn't. Yeah. <laughs> I was looking at those parent teacher conference. I never thought about it from the teacher's perspective, sitting now with all those different parents pressuring the teacher, you know, you got to do the best for my kids. That was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it's great because we'll have teachers write in or we'll talk to teachers and they'll tell us ideas for the show. So anything you see on the show most likely is rooted in reality. I mean, we really blow it out, but um, there's always kind of a truth to everything in the show. Yeah, we have a couple okay. plots this season that came directly from teacher suggestions. We touched on we touch on Common Core this season, and we'd heard multiple times from teachers that the copier breaking is like a nightmare because you don't have you know quizzes or worksheets, so you have to actually relate to your students um, and talk to them. So we have a whole plot about that. Okay, can you guys just give me a little bit about your school experience? Was it anything like this? What you're doing? Mine was nothing like this. Um, I wish it would have been like this, but no, I you know, was really blessed and fortunate to have a lot of really great teachers um, that I still keep in touch with and talk to. And um, so I had a great school experience. Yeah, so did I. I mean, I have no idea what was going on behind the scenes, which is what we're exploring. So who knows? Maybe they were all insane narcissists, but, um, but I had a great elementary school experience. I was a really quiet kid. So I had a lot of okay. teachers who were nice. This is your second season. What's going to be different about this season? Or you'll just continue on with the comedy that, that made you famous in the first. You know, there's so much that's different in this season that we're really excited about. We had a blast doing season one, but season two, we really took a lot of liberties. And um, we have some great guest stars. We have Haley Joel Osment and Coolio <laughs> and Matt Walsh from Veep. Um, we also have an entire musical episode where everything is a musical. Uh, so this season, there's a lot to look forward to. Okay. 
show? What's the, 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 the thing behind all the Katie's in this show? <laughs> well, we started as an improv and sketch group called the Katie Dits in Chicago. So we were formed because we all have some variation of the name Katie, which now in business it's very weird to meet all six of us and we have the same name. We're aware it's like a demented yeah. sorority. It's great if you meet us out at a bar, too, <laughs> because that can kind of throw people for a loop. Yeah, but we started in Chicago doing improv and sketch and then, and then transitioned doing to one-off videos, and then it was... A director in Chicago, Matt Miller, who is now an executive producer on, on Teachers, who brought us the idea of Teachers and doing the web series. Well, I think it's so interesting what you guys are doing. Uh, you've got me as a fan. Like I said, my Facebook audience, we talked about you guys earlier. They know Teachers very, mm. very well on TV land. Oh, that's great. That's so great to hear. <laughs> well, it's great to see you guys doing this. This is just very entertaining. A little scary at times, but very entertaining. Yeah. yeah. We well, like to push the boundaries just a yeah, little bit. Yeah, it'll probably get scarier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, you guys are in the second season on TV Land. So what day you want us to watch it? You should watch every Tuesday night at 10 p.m. on TV Land. Uh, you can also catch it on demand or on the TVLand.com app. All right, then. I want to thank you, Katie, and Katie and all the other Katies for bringing this to our attention. This is going to be a great, great winter program for us to watch. Thank you very much. Oh, thank, thank you. you.